isomers. Uh, we'll draw all the isomers. And there's lots of possibilities I'll have here. But first, I want to figure out what kinds of isomers I'm going to draw, like what kinds of functional groups. So it's helpful to me to first draw out uh, the, uh, what's it called, first calculate the degree of unsaturation. So the degree would be the number of hydrogens missing divided by two. How many hydrogens are missing from a fully saturated molecule? Two. So I have one degree of unsaturation. That clues me in that I'm going to draw two different kinds of structures. I'm going to draw rings, and I'm going to draw alkenes. Okay? Because those are the only ones, unless I had another like oxygen or something here, that I could draw uh, for uh, a hydrocarbon. So I'm going to go my merry way now. I'll start with the alkenes. I'll draw a six chain, and I could put the double bond there. I'll draw a six chain, I'll put the double bond there. Um, and I'll put the double bond in the middle. So those are the, all the alkenes that are drawn out as a chain with six. I could go down to five and put uh, one methyl group on here. So I can do that one. I can do this one. So it's kind of like a little puzzle. You just got to figure out all the different possibilities that you can have. I could also have that methyl group, four or five, right in the middle. Put the double bond there. Put the double bond there. One there. So you can see what I'm doing is trying to draw different kind of backbones. Here a straight backbone, here a five backbone with one methyl on the edge, here one methyl in the middle, and then I'm moving the double bond around. So my method is to draw the backbone first, stay with like six and then go down to five and smaller and smaller, uh, and then once I have the backbone to move the double bond around. Uh, you can go down to four and have two methyls. Uh, so you get out the double bond here like that. Or you could four and put the two methyls like this. You have the double bond here or here. So for that backbone, this one I only figured out one. For this backbone, I figured out two places to put the double bond. Remember, you can't have five bonds to carbon, so you're limited where you can put it. I could not put a double bond right here, because that would give me five bonds to this carbon. Uh, so that's all the alkenes I can think of right now. We'll go down to alkanes, or cyclo, or the rings. I'll start off with the six. Then I'll go down to the five. And there's a lot of possibilities for the five. So I guess I picked the hardest problem possible here. Why does it have a double bond? Oh, yeah. Thank you. Good. My life is much easier. Yeah. If I drew that double bond there, how many degrees of unsaturation would I have? Two. Yeah, that's stupid. That was a knucklehead. No, you want a ring with no double bond. That was crazy. So you got that one. Six to five, you can go down to four. Four, there's a couple possibilities. You can go down to the three. Oh, I forgot one for the four. You could have an ethyl. Go down to the three and have one, two, three. Oh, this is ridiculous. Okay. One, two, three. <laughs> Oh, this is horrible. Okay, I'm just drawing them out. Your test won't be this hard. <laughs> but I will just try to draw out all the possibilities here. Ah. Oh, that's what I'm saying. Let's see. Am I missing any? Okay, I think that's about it. So there's like 50 isomers here. 
not including the geometrics. We won't draw those. Okay. That, why did you say you wanted another problem? Okay. Anyways, there's another horrible example. Your test won't be this hard, but there's the idea behind it. Okay, we'll finish OCHEM next time with the chirality.